Gavin, I just want to start with asking you about the handball last weekend. A massive well done to St. Joseph's. How many All-Irelands did they take home? Um, St. Joseph's, last weekend we won boys under 16 All-Ireland doubles final. Uh, we won boys, uh, one of our boys won in under 14 doubles, under 15 doubles, and we had Cora Dyle, girls under 17 singles, and Claude White formed far, are part of the under 17 girls doubles partnership. Yeah, when you say we have, they are Glenbarrington women, you know, we have to kind of claim them as well as Ben Keeling. True, yeah, yeah, but sure, I suppose going back um, when we started uh, the juvenile training in St. Joseph's, um, there was no active club in Barnton at the time, so they came into us, so we will kind of lay claim to half of them now as well, Helen. All right, well, I know that. that. That's okay, that's no problem. Um, now, I'll just turn to you now. Big weekend in Hurling this weekend, only three more sleeps now to the county final. Have you any uh, any idea who's going to come out on top? I have, yeah, but um, it's nice to see the two best teams in the county uh, in the final. Uh, St Martin's are a very young team, very successful club, and like there's a lot of people fancying them for Sunday. And Chirolo drafted me there so many times in the last 10, 12 years. They're, they know how to win, and they're an experienced team. And I suppose you could say it's the uh, it's the young kids on the block again, the more experienced senior team of Owlert who are well used to winning. Would you think that maybe Owlert are coming to an end? Maybe they're they're pushing on in age a little bit, and this could be their last year maybe for a while. Well, there's no doubt about that. Like there's a lot of their top class players to like they're they're pushing on year wise, and uh, they've been very successful all down through the years. But they're not going to give up this title without one hell of a fight. Uh, St Martins have won a lot at underage, juvenile, minors, under 21s. They wouldn't have too many uh, elderly lads on the team, apart from Dahi Waters, Kieran Ling, uh, Willie Devericks. And I'm sure those fellas now are delighted to be playing with all those uh, young fellas coming through the St Martins for the last number of years. They're a fantastic club. They're very fast, they're brilliant hurlers, but they still have a lot to do on Sunday. I wouldn't imagine Willie will be impressed with you calling him an old fella at the age of 26. Well, I didn't call him an old fella, but he's one of the elder statesmen on the team because there's a lot of them actually are young, Helen, like they're 18, 19, 20 years of age. And like if I were a fella now at 25 or 6, uh, back in my day and a crowd of young lads coming on, I'd be I'd be more than delighted because their speed in their legs, uh, they've, no, they've no problem in relation to having any fear of any team because they've They've done it all at underage level. They're in the senior football final. They've won all before them this year in the county. Uh, every time I pick up the paper, St Martin's won the under-21, they've won the junior, they've won the, hurl, they've won the under-21. They're still in the under-21 football. They've, they're in the minor hurling. They've won the junior football. They're a remarkable club. It reminds me of, of, the, of Wexford Town in my time, in our in our older days. Like uh, Wexford Town dominated, but they're, they're they're gone back seriously now. But that's not taking anything from the Martins. They're a fantastic club, and they're the envy. They're the envy, I suppose, of of not alone all the clubs in the county, but they're one of the hot, top class clubs in the country. Speaking of your day, you uh, enjoyed many a day out with the Wexford senior team. Uh, you played for 25 years with the Harriers. I think you did 15 or 16 years at Wexford. Shall I say four Leinsters, one All-Ireland and even an All-Star? I wouldn't even remember, Helen. I, I played for such a long time. At the end of our tether, we were called the journeymen. There was uh, quite a few of us stayed on, maybe longer than we should have had. But like, t I'm watching the game nowadays, and uh, it is great to see young blood coming through. And certainly the St Martins have it, but like, there's no doubt in, in my mind, Owlert have loads of experience, they've loads of top-class hurlers, and I, I'm looking forward to a good game on Sunday. Yeah, you would have won this in 1981 with the Harriers, Gavin. I think you won it 20 years later in 2001. Can yeah. you remember who the opponents <laughs> were that day? <laughs> yeah, well, it was my only um, county senior hurling title, 2001 versus the Rapparees in Wexford Park. Um, <clears throat> it was a fantastic day personally for me and for the lads I grew up with. And um, we beat, did I say Rapparees? 13 points to nine, we beat them. Um, 
I spoke to Joe Kearns there earlier this morning and just kind of asked him what, what his memories or recollections of the day were. Now his will be far greater than mine because he has a, an encyclopedic mind in terms of anything hurling related. Um, I don't really remember a huge amount about the day. Um, <clears throat> You know, I, I can just remember a sense of relief because we had tried, you know, and, and to get to the top of the mountain over a long number of years. And we had come up short in a couple of semi-finals and a semi-final replay. And, you know, it kind of became, became an obsession in my life anyway. And I suppose it became an obsession, an obsession with the lads on the team with me. And when we finally won it, we, when we finally won it, it was just... The relief was kind of just, you could nearly, it was tangible, you could feel it. And afterwards then I, I can just remember <clears throat> maybe bringing the cup up to my granddad and stuff like that. And the game itself, I don't really remember a huge amount about it, but I, I kind of always felt that, I felt a little bit guilty that it was the rapperies that we were beating in the final because they were a fellow town team. And, you know, Adrian Fenlon and Jim Hall and <clears throat> Andy Ivers, and Ollie Connors and um, Brian Kiho and all the fantastic hurlers they had. You know, when the two of us arrived in the final, you know, two town teams at the time in an era that was dominated by, say, Rat and your Buffers Alley, you know, Eulert had come on board, the Ants had won a title, the Martins, so all the country teams that we were depriving another town team of maybe winning the championship. Is it a case then the towny teams stick together? Well, I suppose it, it would be, yeah. We, we, like, I mean, there would be a tremendous rivalry between. You know, going back to my under fourteen days against um, the rapperies and you know, not today or yesterday, yeah. it's not today. I don't know. I know it's not. It's a long, long time ago now. But you know, there would have been a healthy kind of respect, and I suppose even there lately, when the rapperies and Gory were, were in semi-finals, I mean, I would have been, you know, privately hoping that they would have got to the final. I don't know. Maybe it's just a kind of a Wexford thing, or you know, I suppose the town and the urban areas would hope to see the other urban areas doing well. So whether it be the Rapparees, and maybe New Ross has fallen on hard times, but Gorey made a breakthrough this year. And, mm -hmm. you know, they probably would have privately, maybe not publicly had the support of the people in Wexford Town anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we were just saying earlier, Ned, you said that St. Martins are a very young team and you're dead right. Um, how much of a, an impact is that going to play on Sunday as regards experience against youth? Well, it's going to be a hard final for St. Martins to win because of the experience that Owlert have gained down through the years. They've also won a Leinster title. They went close to winning an All-Ireland title. And with the experience of Keith Rossiter, Rory Jacob, Desi Mighton, Nicky Kerwin, these guys and uh, Gary Sinnott, full forward, who's having a great year this year, along with himself and Rory O'Connor, I would imagine from what games I've seen this year, I think the pick of the two, uh, we say stars of the championship, have been Gary Sinnott and Rory O'Connor from the Martins. But like going back to my own days, I remember the experienced men in my club, the likes of Ned Wheeler, Oliver McGrath, Hopper McGrath, and uh, Willie Murphy and those, Condodal, they drove us on to a, a, a senior title. And something similar is going to happen on Sunday with the likes of Keith Rossiter, a fantastic hurler, a great servant for Wexford all down the years. Rory Jacob, as I mentioned earlier on, they're going to drive the lads on. And, uh, you know, in the end of the day, I think it's going to be experience against youth. And it's going to be a tight game. But like whoever wants it more on the day, and they see the Martins haven't won the senior championship with this young team yet, and it's going to be very hard because I think if they could win on Sunday, they could actually win three or four more. But on balance, uh, my I'm going to say that I think Owlert might get through it. And uh, you said there earlier on that this could be their last title. I, I, I wouldn't agree with that because, you know, the, 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 some of them are 32 and 3 and 4 years of age. And sometimes, like, the fellas of that uh, vintage uh, mean more to a team than a lot of the younger blood. But it's going to be a tight game. It'll be a very interesting game. St. Martin's are a fantastic team. But I wouldn't be surprised if the experience of Ollert, and particularly on a fine day, with such a lot of good hurlers, like, right throughout the team, they're all brilliant hurlers. It has the makings of a great game. It could be very tight, but I just, somehow or other, somebody, something is telling me that Owlert will cling on to this title for their dear life.
Yeah, you would imagine Nicky Kerwin will be on the freeze for Euler that day and Rory O'Connor if he plays. There's a doubt there whether Rory is going to play or not. Do you think maybe it'll come down to freeze at the end of the day? It could very well happen, Helen. Like the, the boat free takers on, on the boat teams are very good. Uh, if Joe Coleman is playing for the Martins, he's a brilliant free taker. And Nicky Kerwin, as you said, is a great free taker. And sometimes it does boil down to the frame. And it boils down to the type of day we're going to have. And, uh, if it's a fine day, the two good hurling teams, and uh, I'd imagine it'll be very tight. And they can't afford to miss freeze nowadays. Like, I was actually out in St. Martin's a couple of weeks ago, and I noticed where St. Martin's are not playing Joe Coleman the whole time. But I believe he's the best free taker that they actually have, with all due respects to Rory O'Connor, who, who has done quite a good job on the freeze when he's come on to him. But he, like, he tends to miss a few as well. He's a good young lad, he's a good free taker, but it, it boils down to a little bit of experience and having the guts on the day to be able to hit him over the bar. And... Uh, I don't know who's going to be taking the freeze for St. Mary's, but you can bet your life Nicky Curran will be taking it for Owlert, and he's very good on him, and he rarely misses the meter. Yeah, I was in Wexford Park the day that the Martins bet Buffers Alley, um, and I think Rory actually scored 1-8 that day of their 116 total, and he actually scored the winning point for him. So as regards keeping the head and keeping the coolness, I think he probably has it. Uh, although he's only 18, he's, he seems to have a head of an older person on him. Well, he's a brilliant hurler, there's no doubt about it. And I love watching him, like, he's great speed, he's great vision. And so, how could he get out of it, like, and he's bred into the family, like, and he's one for the future in Wexford hurling. And uh, he is a good free taker, but it's a hard task, actually, when you don't start at the freeze, having to come on to him during the game. Like, everything he's done right in the championship for St. Martin's this year has been absolutely brilliant. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, he came on against Waterford in the championship this year and he made a great impression. And the only thing about it is Wexford could do with four or five more of the, the calibre of Rory Connor. Uh, that's not taken away from the other fellas on the team either. Like they've got a lot of talent on the team. The, the, the Fairmans are very good. Uh, Aaron Maddock is a brilliant player. Kieran Ling, Dahi Waters does Trojan work around the middle the field. They're not going to bowl over easy, but like uh, you're asking me, who do I think? And like I'd be. I'm inclined to give the nod to Owlert on the basis that they've won, they must have won eight out of the last ten county titles. They don't give up county titles too easily. And I think with their overall experience, they may have a little bit more than the younger team of the St. Martins on the day. But like, if St. Martins don't win it next week, uh, it certainly won't be too long before they'll win the championship with that good and upcoming young team to have. So you're saying Owlert then, Ed? Just about. <laughs> no, we'll turn to Gavin. Who do you think is going to win it, Gavin? Um, I think I will win it myself. Um, you know, I think my dad summed it up very well. <laughs> he, went, he went into a lot of detail there about the relative merits of both teams. But, um, I mean, it's no secret that Owlert are, you know, they're after being in eight of the last ten finals, or was it nine of the last ten? I can't, I, I'm not actually sure, but it was one or the other. But they've had a, a marvellous innings. They're a team probably that's on the way down a little bit and the Martins are certainly a team on the way up both of them are going to collide on Sunday um, something will have to give but I just think that I, I just think that you know the, the game earlier in the year that was the very first game in the championship uh, I think the Harriers hurled on the same night it was in Belfield you know the Martins won it but I don't think they'll catch Elder. I won't say they caught him on the hop that night but it'd be very difficult to beat them twice and I think you know, if you throw that the Martins are also in the football final as well, I just think that Owlert hold a little, you know, a few more aces than the Martins this time round. The Martins are certain, you know, they look like that they're a common force. They're certain to win a county senior hurling title, in my opinion. But I think um, if I was having a bet on it now, and I'm not a betting man, no, I didn't think you were, no. <laughs> but uh, I, I'd, I'd draw in with Owlert on this occasion.